Okay, hopefully everybody can see my screen. If you can't, please just put it into the, uh, to the chat box and go to meeting. Um, but first, I'd like to thank everybody um, who's here today for this webinar. My name is Bill Rockwell. I'm a CRM Solutions Specialist with Affiliated Resource Group. And today we're going to talk about how you can boost your sales and customer effectiveness with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. I've actually been a user on multiple CRM systems. Um, I've actually been using Microsoft Dynamics CRM day-to-day, -day, tracking my pipeline activities, utilizing all the other features such as leads, opportunities, accounts, contacts, and all those customizable dashboards and reports that CRM allows you to create today. So for our agenda, we're going to have we're going to have a slight overview of Microsoft Dynamics CRM, show you how to simplify, organize, increase productivity. CRM 2011, this is actually the fifth version CRM product that Microsoft has put out there. So CRM is very is a very mature product as well as heavily invested. In. And Microsoft Dynamics CRM is also very well supported by a partner community such as affiliated and other independent developer vendors as well. We're also going to be able to go over some analyst research or experts within this field, in, within the technology field, um, Forrester and Gardner, show you some different charts for them. Then we're going to have the demonstration. We're going to go through the sales cycle guided process, which is brand new with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, show you how that's going to work with your sales cycle and with your sales process to allow you to increase productivity. The next thing that we have is the Outlook integration with CRM 2011. I'm going to hit very slightly um, on Outlook integration with CRM 2011, show you how you're able to pull up your CRM product while also being able to see all of your email, calendar, all that information. We have real life case studies. The company that we're going to be speaking about today is actually a, a customer of Affiliated, um, Triple Fin, and we'll dive deeper into that. And then the four key reasons to consider implementing Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now, I'm actually not going to disappoint. I have more than four reasons. I actually have seven that we're going to talk about here today. But we have the four key reasons that I really want to hit on. And then at the very end of our webinar, we'll have a nice little Q&A session. If you have any questions as we go through the uh, demonstration or webinar, feel free to type those into your question boxes or into the chat within the GoToMeeting. Now I do want to speak a little bit about Affiliated. Affiliated helps organizations identify issues or processes that they want to be able to change with Microsoft Dynamics CRM using existing technology that will allow your team to increase that productivity, really help with your customer service, and obviously in the end increase your revenue. We're a leading Microsoft Dynamics CRM partner. We're actually a gold partner. We're within the Columbus, Ohio area, but we also do have national coverage. We have over 20 years of experience within the technology field and just over eight years experience implementing CRM. We actually have over 80 implementations to date. And we've also been voted Microsoft, or Microsoft Central Region Partner of the Year as well. Now, Microsoft Dynamics Overview. So let's just talk about the basics. For the people who are already familiar with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, just bear with me for about five minutes. But of course, review can be very helpful for those who have not been deployed or know very little about CRM. A CRM system is designed to be a unified front office for your business. By that, I mean a single application that, comply, that combines marketing, sales, service capabilities to really offer a 360 degree customer view from beginning to end. Marketing offers the capabilities to create marketing campaigns. This could be off of a trade show or even a web event that we are currently on. This could basically be anything that your company provides to try and create opportunities for a new business. Now with these groups of people, you can create marketing lists and even build campaigns. You can create campaigns to 
shoot emails to all of your contacts, opportunities, accounts, leads, or whatever different groups of prospects you have created for your particular marketing list and allow them through the sales process so that you can distinguish how much real revenue was generated from these different marketing campaigns or events. And then compare one marketing event to another to start tracking what types of campaigns or, or event are reaching your target audience. But mainly, what is our largest return on investment compared to one marketing medium to another? Now sales takes it from the marketing prospect phase through lead qualification. And there is a distinction made between leads, which is your marketing database, your unqualified prospects, or the people you hope to do business with, and qualified to opportunities to accounts to, and contacts. This will also support involving invoicing and quoting capabilities if you were to sync with Microsoft Dynamics CRM to an accounting system such as QuickBooks. But even if you don't, you do have the ability to visualize all of your invoice and sales history with a specific account or contact. With all the great reporting tools you will get to see with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. And of course your sales will lead into your service, is the feeding of your existing customers. So if you have customer service representatives, they will have access to the same account information that your sales and marketing teams do. We'll have access to what customers have ordered, what issues they, they, they might be having, and also have the ability to schedule these different service activities for the right representatives. You also will have the ability to categorize those issues, whether it be a late arrival, broken product, whatever types of issues that may occur with your product, which will allow you to route this service issue to the appropriate people within the organization who can fix the problem quickly and of course all that can happen automated within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now the last little slice here that we have is XRM. Now this is actually a technology term that means ex extended CRM and which also means that you can extend around the CRM system and add customizations to the application to perform at a higher level than just out of the box. So the ability to add new fields and new additions to the screen by your system administrator, you also have the ability to create new data entities. For example, I'll use one of our customers, Rocky Boots, who's a, who's a boot manufacturer. If you can create an entity called Boot Sales, and then track it against any service issues you have had with those boots and that is all doable without writing any type of code. So you can create a specific entity just to track a specific type of boot. So you can see what types of issues that you may have had. <coughs> Excuse me. Now of course we also have activities that you're going to be able to track all the meetings, calls, emails, and other communications that occur between your users and leads, opportunities, and etc. And that's something that we'll dive a little bit deeper into when we go through our demonstration portion of the system. Now we also have configurable business processes. The ability to define and combine guided processes and workflows. We call that workflow in Microsoft CRM. That again is a huge efficiency gain within a system like this automating processes. For example, when a lead comes in from your website and is acquiring about information and is located in a specific geographic region, it can be automated to the appropriate sales representative. Or another example, when a lead is qualified to an opportunity, you can have an automated email or response sent directly to that opportunity with whatever message you have created for that workflow. You have the ability to pass activities from one group within the business to another just by maybe simply switching a stage within the guided process and you'll understand that here in a second. 
And this is all possible through the automation facilitated by workflows within Microsoft CRM. We also have service-oriented architecture. And this is basically talking about the flexible deployment that you have on-premise or even online. And these are all related concepts. This is a system that incorporates all the latest web applications technologies. Whether it's Microsoft CRM in the cloud or online, if it's Microsoft CRM that you install locally on-premise, the application is virtually the same. So whether you are hosting CRM yourself on Microsoft is hosting the application, they are virtually identical. You can also move from online to on-premise. This has actually happened with a few of our customers. They'll start off online and after they invest in the system, they move to on-premise and actually host the system locally or, or with their own servers. This is a unique function to CRM unlike any other system. Just like I said previously, I've worked with other systems, CRM systems in the past, and as, to my knowledge, this is the only system that I know that you can move from online to on-premise. You can decide what deployment works best for you and your company. And this, and this is everything that I want to speak about, that 360 degree view on Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Just a quick overview so you have a very clear idea of how CRM will work for you and your business. So let's move on to analyst research. And of course I love it, but I'm admittedly biased. So let's just say that the folks that are experts in technology, Gardner and Forrester agree and have rated Microsoft CRM best in class, as you can see. And both of these analyst results are, are within the last year, July 2012. This just gives you an idea of where Microsoft Dynamics is in the industry against our competitors. And as you can see, we hold our own very well. And with these charts, what we're looking at is the ability to execute and the comp completeness of vision. So where do they see Microsoft CRM going to in the future? And where are they today? And it's very comforting to understand that they have a very strong strategy to continue improving their system, as well as being a strong product here today. Now, the next thing that we're going to dive into is the, is the demonstration. Kind of talk about your leads, contacts, opportunities, and really dive into the guided process within Microsoft Dynamics that is brand new to Microsoft Dynamics CRM and was actually just released here in last December. We're also going to be able to go through the Outlook integration with CRM. Spend, we're not going to spend as much time with the Outlook integration as with the guided process, but you'll get to see a very clear understanding of how Outlook and Microsoft Dynamics CRM basically coexists within each other. So if you can give me one second, I'm going to dive into the system and pull that up for us. I'm actually going to end this slide, click on my ellipse here, end the show, and actually pull up our demonstration here. So this is actually our default dashboard. And this would be what you'll be able to see as soon as you log into the system. And we have these different dashboards and the ability to configure for different users and teams. You can structure the dashboards for particular users in different roles. Now we also have great reporting within Microsoft Dynamics CRM and is a key functionality. The ability to sort and filter information to and from the Excel spreadsheets so all the charts and conditional formatting that Excel enables can be leveraged even further with integration within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Now with these actual dashboards, you can actually click on this carrot and you can pull up different dashboards depending on what team you're on, whether you're on a marketing, you're on the marketing team, you're on the customer service side of things, or you're in the sales portion of things. You're going to be able to click on these different dashboards that CRM has already created or you can even customize your own dashboard to show whatever types of reports that you want to be able to see. So here's our sales pipeline. You can refresh this actual pipeline. You can see where each of your 
leads or opportunities, I'm sorry, these would be opportunities that you would actually, where they are throughout your sales process within your guided process, which we'll be able to hit in a second. But you can see we have qualify, propose, develop, pr propose, and then close. Now we also have a what's new portion of your dashboard. And this is basically the social piece of the dashboard. This will allow you to track the activity portion of CRM. We'll also support Yammer as well. Now we can scroll down a little bit here and see some of the different types of dashboard, dashboards and charts that we have for you to choose from. And you can actually customize any one of these different charts by view the records that are used to generate the chart. But we also have activities here at the bottom of our dashboard to see what you have going on for you that day, what tasks that you may have, what type, what phone calls, or what you maybe even have scheduled for the day. This is all going to be information that you're going to be able to pull up instantly as soon as you get on the dashboard. Now those different activities a lot of times will be in our what's new as well because when you create an activity, create a task, or write a post, or make a phone call, that's going to populate within what's new and you have the refresh button that allow you to make sure that you're on top of everything that's going on throughout your business. But let's dive into the sales portion of CRM where you can pull up your leads, opportunities, accounts, and other different objects throughout CRM. So I can actually go to my bottom pane here on the left and click on sales. And this will pull up all of my sales information from accounts, contacts, leads, opportunities, competitors, any types of quotes, orders, invoices, and you can read as you go through. And these are all going to be customizable for you, tailorable for you to be able to add any different types of entities or add different types of fields throughout the system. So what we're going to do is we're going to get started here with our leads. And you can select a simple lead. Now all the information that you're seeing in here today is, is sample information from the trial that CRM actually builds out for you when you start the system. This is a trial that I created specifically for this webinar. So let's click on counts following and pull up all their basic information. So the first thing that you can see here is what we call our guided process bar that visualizes this sales process. In this case we have four stages. Qualify, develop, propose, and close. Now within each stage, we have what we call steps. These are suggested actions or pieces of information to collect or checklist items to mark complete. And in this case, we want to match up the contact to see if this lead is, is particular familiar with us or if we've ever had him ever had this in, this this individual's information in our system search there's actually no contacts here available you can actually see if there's any accounts if there's no contacts, probably not going to be any accounts for you also we want to match up that account and there's also other various pieces of information that we will need to collect throughout the guided process such as purchase time frame and these are all tailorable and we're going to be able to dive a little bit deeper into those now down the left side, left hand side you can see that there's information that can be laid out and tailored for your specific company's needs. Now we actually call these fields. Now in the center of the form, we have our social feed, which we're going to dive into as soon as we actually qualify this lead, okay, and create an opportunity. But within the lead, you can see any type of activities that have been created, any types of posts, or any types of notes. Now on the left-hand side, we were previously speaking about these different fields. These are all tailorable. You can create your own fields and you can actually build them and put them directly into this interface. You can see all of that company's information. And then we also have our Bing map. It's very valuable if you have traveling salesmen because you're going to be able to get instant directions and map out your day. Any type of details, preferences, and this is all tailorable for your business. You also have the ability to add stakeholders and add their different roles. So Jim Glenn, he may be a stakeholder within the actual company and you can actually add what role he has within that company and you can do the same with competitors. You can enter in your competitors that you're currently working with or working against I should say. So for pretend reasons, let's just say that we've spoken with counts 
and we're actually going to qualify this lead. They're interested in whatever product it is that you may sell. We're able to click on the qualify here at the top left, left side. And now you've able to created a opportunity. Now, what I've actually done, and we're going to talk about the guided process here. Now, with the guided process, you, we've actually just qualified this lead. So this lead is no longer a lead. It is now an opportunity and has went from the qualify stage within the guided process or with your sales process to the develop stage. So you have a whole bunch of new steps that you're going to be able to utilize to make sure that you've completed everything that needs to be completed to move on to the next stage. Now, this really clears a lot of things up for your different sales reps. Now, this can also be done within the service portion of our system for cases as well. We're focusing on the sales side today, but this can also be done in the service side of your, of, of your business as well. You have brand new steps that your sales reps are going to need to complete. And with this guided process, I also created a workflow and, and, or an automated process from, from as soon as this lead was, was qualified into an opportunity, I had an activity that was automatically created. Now, I just showed you the activities and the social media within the lead. So let's click on our activities here. And you can see that an example workflow was created to follow up with. And that's all automated. But you don't have to create a task or an activity. You can also add a phone call. You can create an email. You can do a lot of different things within this, within your workflows. Or you can even move this, as soon as this lead is actually qualified into an opportunity, you can have it pushed over into another team. You can add different sales team members as well. Now, the simplicity of the guided process is phenomenal. It's very easy to be able to manipulate and customize throughout your system. So what you're going to be able to do is click this ellipse. And that's the one thing that I want to be able to show you here today, how simple this system is to manipulate. So let's go into the edit the sales process. Now we have all the stages here on the left hand side, the qualify, develop, and so on. So let's say I want to be able to add another stage. Click the plus, and now we're actually going to move it down. And we can label this whatever we want. So let's just put in test. You can create a new step. So we'll just put in schedule. Put schedule follow up. And then you can also enter a brand new field. Click OK. And this guided process is being manipulated and tailored. And it's going to pop up instantly into our opportunities. And as you can see, we have a new stage within the guided process. So with, within a matter of a couple clicks, you can add stages, you can add steps to your sales process or guided process. Now also, we were talking about fields previously within the lead portion. Once again, you have all these different fields that you're going to be able to manipulate here on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side of this opportunity. And I also want to show you the simplicity of being able to manipulate these fields. So once again, we're going to go to our lips, more commands, and we're going to go to our form editor. And this will basically show you the interface of this opportunity, what you're seeing as soon as you open up the opportunity. Very simple and easy to be able to, to remove a field. So we'll go with purchase process and just click remove. And also very simple to create a new field. Now as we scroll down, these are all the different fields that Microsoft CRM has put in here for your business, um, expecting that these would be the fields that, so you wouldn't have to create any fields. So let's, well, let's create a brand new field. We can label it. We'll just put example. Example scheduling. Automatically populate down there. We're able to put in what type of field this may be, whether or not you're going to enter in a single line of text, use a calendar, an option set. 
and then two options. So I even though we're using example scheduling, I'm going to show you the two options set. You can click save and close. And then very simply, we're able to scroll down, find that field that we have just created, sample scheduling, there it is, and just pull it right over to where we wanted that to be located within the field. And of course, you can put them in any one of these different entities. Now we're going to save this field. And then the next step is very important. Now we're going to publish this. And this is going to make this live within the system. Now, this does take a couple seconds. Sometimes you do have to refresh it as soon as you get out of, out of the customization portion of your fields or of this page. Now, publishing customizations. Make sure that went through. Click Save and Close. Now what we're going to do is we're going to X out of this and we're going to refresh it just so it populates a little bit quicker. But the simplicity to be able to manipulate your system to your needs is, is really a positive within Microsoft Dynamics CRM. It gives the controller or the user a very simple process to be able to add or remove different fields that may pop up throughout your business. And we can click on whatever different opportunity we wanted. And you can see that the example scheduling has populated as a field. And I can actually click yes or no. And you can also move throughout the guided process by clicking next stage or back. Now, the reason why you'd obviously hit next stage is if you wanted to be able to see different steps that may be here in the future. So after you've completed the develop stage, what's the next step that I'm going to be doing? So let's dive back into the social portion, though, of this system. Okay, we have our posts. You're able to enter any type of new information. So you can go to hot lead or hot opportunity, I should say. Excuse my stop spelling. And we can post that information. And this is all going to be in the what's new portion, what's new portion of the system. We can pull up our activities, and you can see the different activities that have been created throughout the work for the workflow. From the workflow, we can add a phone call, put whatever type of description we want. We can put who the call was with. We need to put it with a different part of the opportunity or different contact within the opportunity, what direction that call came from, whether it's outgoing or incoming. And we can also put in here whether or not we left a voicemail. So this will allow you to track all of your phone calls and all of your, all of your information that need be. We also have the ability to add a task, create a task for, for whatever the situation may be. Put the date due, all that basic information that needs to be in there for that task. And now this is an interesting part. You can actually change the owner. And I can actually create a task or an activity for another team member or even a, a different, a, a completely different team altogether. So I may be in the sales portion of this business, but I want to create this for my marketing team or for the service team. That's all going to be doable within when you create a task and you can put that towards anybody else that you'd like. So that's mainly what I wanted to be able to show you through the system here today. Um, also, we do have notes, excuse me, we do have notes to where you're able to add a note, you're able to attach a file, you're able to attach different documents throughout the system that are maybe downloaded on your desktop. But that's really what I'd be able to show you here today within your sales process. This is a very much about guiding me through a process and using guided process, making it simple for me to understand where I am within the sales cycle and also making it easier for, for me to understand what the expectations are for the sales process and what your sales representative's expectations are for the sales process. This is going to allow you to increase your productivity. Allow for those simple questions, what my next step is. You know what? Check out your CRM system. That's going to be a huge time saver for you and your business. Excuse me. 
you now can have a whole new way for users to work with the system and understand the structure of business process and the expectations of the actions that they need to take to drive towards successful business outcomes. The guided process will provide clarity for a user based on expectations and next steps and suggested actions and provide significantly efficiencies on how they work through business processes. Defined by your organization, users will have a simpler process while businesses will be able to provide consistency with their expectations of those users. Now that's really what I wanted to be able to show you through this demonstration um, through the guided processes. Hopefully you saw a lot of value within the guided processes. Now what we want to be able to do is dive into the Outlook integration. So if you can just give me just another minute, we'll get into the Outlook portion of our demonstration. Next out of here. Bring up my Outlook. Now, the nice part about Outlook and the most powerful features of Microsoft Dynamics CRM is the native Outlook client, which allows users to access the full capabilities of Microsoft Dynamics CRM right from the Outlook interface. Now, with Microsoft Dynamics CRM users, you're able to leverage a wealth of new features and capabilities from that familiar Outlook interface. See all those related emails, contacts, and calendar appointments. Now, one of the main features that I really like about this integration is you have all of your emails, calendar information, all right here. We're able to click on an email. We're able to track that email within Microsoft CRM. Save this email message and activity with Microsoft Dynamics CRM. Tracked items can be viewed by anyone who's accessed in, within those activities. You're able to create a new opportunity within Microsoft Dynamics CRM with our Outlook. And that's all with just a couple clicks. You can convert an incoming email from Outlook into a sales opportunity with the CRM. This functionality will dramatically decrease your clicks and data input and, also, and allows users to seamlessly track customer information and data in one holistic system. Now what I want to be able to do is show you some of that interface and I want to actually dive back into the sales portion of this and show you that you're going to be able to pop, pull up that same information that I just showed you previously all through your Outlook. I have all of my emails. I can pull up all of my calendar information very simply. And I can also pull up all of my CRM information, my marketing, my sales, service, settings, workplace. So let's click on the settings entity right here and then click on our sales here. And it will pull up your leads, your opportunities, competitors, all that information that's needed. So let's dive back into opportunities. Now one of the first things that you're going to notice is that you have these different tutorial videos that you're going to be able to utilize. You can import from files. You can, you can, how are you import files? So whatever issue that you may be having within Microsoft Dynamics CRM that you may need a little help with because you're new with the system, you're going to be able to see these different videos right here above the ribbon and allow you to dive deeper into different aspects of this opportunity. How to convert an opportunity, how to go into accounts, how to create a, how to create a chart or a report. These are all things that you're going to be able to learn through the system. How a guided process works. Whatever it may be, I just want to make sure that you have the understanding that Microsoft Dynamics CRM doesn't throw you just in the middle of the ocean and hope you can swim. We make sure that you have the ability to, to learn about the system all within your own system. Now you also have the ability to create and customize different charts or reports. Put a chart pane right here on the right for you. I'm going to click this ribbon back up and you can see where your opportunities stand your potential customers, some estimated revenue. You can create a new chart and you can either use a bar, column chart, area, line, pie, funnel. This is all customizable for you and your business depending on what you want to be able to do. You also have the ability to manipulate any of these different types of fields. So let's we have our open opportunities up. Let's see if I can find a field that has some information in it. 
let's go to opportunities closing next month, see if anything populates. So we have one opportunity that's expected to close next month. And it's very simple and easy to be able to manipulate these different, these different views and export information out of Excel into Excel. You can do advanced finds. You can import and export data very easily. You can, it's very simple to walk right through that. So this is a system that is very user friendly. And like I said previously, I've used other CRM systems in the past. The system is very user friendly. So let's continue and let's, let's actually select an opportunity to dive deeper into so I can show you how this will even look within the guided process um, through Microsoft Dynamics Out or Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft Dynamics CRM syncing. You can actually click on that opportunity. And once again, you pull up your you pull up your guided process, the guided process that we were just working with. You can see all your posts, activities, notes, all that contact information. And you have that perfect synchronization with Microsoft Dynamics CRM and Outlook. So as we have seen, integrates the next generation Outlook experience. This experience includes a wide variety of capabilities that make it possible for users to personalize the presentation of their data, ways to improve their personal productivity. And with just a few clicks, you are able to customize the presentation of your data to your specific needs, including the addition and removal of CRM fields without needing to involve IT or other system administrators. Being self-sufficient on Microsoft CRM is something that you're going to be able to be. So that's what I wanted to be able to show you with the Outlook. I said I just wanted to dive a little bit, um, just a little into the Outlook CRM integration. If you have any questions with that, please feel free to put that into your Q&A, and we'll be able to reach, uh, speak about that after the demonstration. So let's get back into our presentation here with our PowerPoint and start diving into some case study. So TripleFin, and this is another case study we have done and is also accessible on our website, and, is, and this company is called TripleFin. They, they call themselves the sport behind the brand. You've probably ne never heard of them, but I'm sure that you have heard about their customers. Oil of Lay, Sunny Delight, and a whole bunch of other products you probably wouldn't think need customer service. But those companies have outsourced their customer service to TripleFin's contact centers. So... If you were if you were to call and about Sunny Delight and you had a damaged package, you'd actually be speaking with a triple fin representative. So let's just say they had very unique needs. And they were and as you can see, they were growing at an uncontrollably rate. A great problem to have, but they had a contact system running multiple systems and databases. Their needs were complex because they needed a multi-tenant system. They couldn't have all their customers, customers on the same system, but they didn't want to have to purchase multiple servers. So basically every time they landed a new customer, they needed a new CRM system and be entirely distinct from any other CRM system. And that is a multi-system, a multi-tenant system as we call it. Need to be integrated a separate instance of their triple fence order fulfillment system or fulfillment services they also provided for their customers. So we were actually able to provide a solution in a very short period of time. The initial rollout was 12 different multi-tenant instances and was integrated with a separate company's ERP system, which means that every different company had their own CRM system. So when a customer would call in on that on the different customer service lines, CRM would actually recognize that number, automate the process by pulling up the different CRM system that fit that company, which was labeled by color that is used for that company. So the benefits of this is a lot of triple fin to create better service at a lower cost and reduced reliance on IT. But most importantly, Microsoft Dynamics CRM enabled the company to con continue to grow and increase productivity. They were able to keep up with TripleFin.
And this obviously allowed them to reduce reliance on their IT. But most importantly, Microsoft Dynamics enabled the company to continue to grow and increase productivity. We have here's another actual statement by by TripleFin, Greg Lande, CEO of TripleFin, and this is actually the statement is on our on our website for affiliated, and this was made by the company CEO. And of course, had some very nice things to say, and not only about Microsoft CRM, but also the work of uh, affiliated resource group was able to provide to TripleFit. So the four key reasons to consider Microsoft Dynamics CRM, and I'm actually going to give you seven, like I like I stated earlier, and I'm actually going to um, first start by starting with some of the functional functional reasons that I have discussed initially. The visibility gives you so that executives can see the input on what is happening from the top down. For forecasting purposes, the sales funnel provides inside information for the executives. And the major reason is because the workforce has changed, giving people visibility into information that we come to expect today. Consistency, consistency again, Everyone is working from the same page, from your sales to marketing to service. Nothing slips through the cracks. Automation. Through workflow, we can eliminate the manual process. Everything is happening in real time, which is what to be expected in today's market. This allows your customers to receive a much quicker response. And then collaboration. Once again, marketing to sales to service is brought together to create an all-in-one application for your company. Collaboration. Sales is a team sport. If your marketing doesn't do their job, sales can't make sales. After sales makes a sale, services do their job. We all understand how this works. This is a team sport, and Microsoft Dynamics CRM will pull this all together for you and your business. So here's a few more reasons that I'd like to be able to speak about as well. Um, so now let's talk about some more specific reasons to introduce Microsoft CRM to your business. Low cost, no upfront price licensing. Obviously, cloud computing is a huge trend in technology. And within CRM in particular, and the benefits are obvious, especially for small and mid-sized businesses who don't have thousands and thousands of dollars to acquire client and server licenses. The subscription model makes it very inexpensive to get started on an application like Microsoft CRM. So for just $44 per user per month, which compares very favorably to other common competitors. Everything you have seen is included here, the mobile access, the, ser the uh, sales, service, and marketing capabilities, email capabilities, the guided processes, and the Outlook integration. That is all included here within the cloud-based system. There are no hidden fees. There are also no additional hardware or software. You don't need to purchase a server or databases. You will be trained on the ongoing care and maintenance of this system, or a system administrator will be trained per se by, by a, uh, a vendor group such as Affiliated. Microsoft Cloud Strategy. They own the desktop. Now they want to own the cloud. Today, eight out of 10 companies that I work with deploy CRM today are doing this from the cloud. That benefits our customers tremendously because Microsoft is pouring tens of millions of dollars into research and development into Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So you can rely on this product and have and have the the comfortability for the foreseeable future. Companies come and go that produce software, and it is comforting to know that your system and investment that you put into Microsoft CRM won't have to be replicated in five to 10 years down the road. So I hope you found the value in today's presentation. And the bottom line is that Microsoft has a great product that will continue to expand for a great price. It's a great system. I look forward to speaking with all of you. If any of you have any questions, feel free to put those into the queue, the questions box within GoToMeeting, and I will reach back out to you after the, 
after this presentation. Here are some ways that you're going to be able to contact me. My name is Bill Rockwell. I'm a Microsoft CRM Solutions Specialist. I work for Affiliated Resource Group. And here's my office line. This is my direct line, 614-973-5086. And here's my mobile. Email is usually the best way to get a hold of me. And I look forward to speaking with everybody here today. I want to thank you for your time. And I look forward to speaking with you. Thank you.